Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a B tree index on a JSON B key. You're going to see me insert 25 million rows into this table, and then we're going to create that B tree index. We're going to be using a JSON B data type on just one of the fields. Then I'm going to show you how to query that table, and then we're going to use explain so we can see that that B tree index was used on that query. Now the source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Look for this repository, PostgreSQL Shorts Resources. Inside of this repository, you'll see a file called btree underscore jsonb.sql. Let's do it. Let's begin by creating a table called contact underscore table2. Now our first field is serial number. Notice the data type is serial and that will be my primary key. This will automatically generate a value for us. Then we have contact underscore info. Its data type is JSON B. Let's go ahead and create this. Perfect. And now we are going to write a function that will actually perform the insert statement for us. So here you can see it's called populate contacts. And I'll be sending in one parameter called num rows. Its data type is integer. Now the goal of this is just to do a for loop. You can see here on line 33, I say for i1 to num rows, that was our input parameter, and then loop. And for every loop, we have an end loop. And you can see here, I'm gonna take that i and I'm gonna assign it to all 10. Then notice here, I just take string and I'm gonna concatenate 10 zeros with whatever this i value is. And then I'm just going to take the right of that for 10. Now, once I get string build, then we're going to build this key value. This here on line 38 is our JSON B value. Now, notice here our key is phone, and then our value has dashes between it. You can see here on line 42, I build the key phone, and then I'm using substring, and I'm concatenate it with those dashes. And that's what gives me the value for phone. Now email, I'm saying email is my key. And str, well, that is just the pattern above here on line 36. And I'm going to concatenate that with uh, at mail.com. It builds this whole pattern. And then I'm going to insert this into that table. Now notice here, I'm only using one column. Remember, our other column is the serial number. And it will auto-generate. So there you can see our function. Let's go ahead and create that. All done. As you can see on line 56, we're going to call the function we just wrote, populate contacts, and we're going to send in 25 million. That's going to go into this parameter. So we're going to loop over this 25 million times and insert it into contact underscore table two. I'm going to hit pause here and run this, but we'll, we'll see how long this took. So. Highlight your SQL statement and then say execute. Okay, that took 5 minutes and 56 seconds to insert 25 million rows. On line 59, we're going to do our first select statement. Notice that we're going to go into our JSON B column object and say contact, info, phone, and then here's the value I'm looking for. Notice I went out and found it, but it took 4.6 seconds to find that record. In our second SQL statement before we create a B tree, let's go use the in clause. Notice I'm looking for three phone numbers. Remember, here's our JSON object, and here's our key that we'll be using. Let's go ahead and do this query. See how long that takes. So 5.6 seconds to find three records. Okay, so now let's learn how to create a B tree index using a JSON B object. You can see here on line 73, we're going to create an index on our JSON B object looking at the key phone. So create index. Here's just my index name. You can name that whatever you like. On, this is the name of our table, using B tree. And then here's our field that we'll use. Let's go ahead and create this. That wasn't too bad at all. So indexing 25 million rows took 58.6 seconds. Not too shabby. Now let's go re-execute our first two SQL statements and see if it runs faster. 
you remember our first statement, it took 4.6 seconds to go execute this. Let's now try it. And notice we're down to 159 milliseconds. And our second SQL statements, notice a little bit more complicated. And we did it in 5.6 seconds. 5.8 seconds, ooh. It uh, was not as fast. So a table scan was actually faster doing this command. Let's do that one more time. Wow, that is an eye opener. So doing a single probe like this considerably faster and then using a complicated SQL statement that had to go up and down the tree became rather expensive. Let us now learn how to use explain to see what happens. If I put the word explain in front of this SQL statement and I execute it, notice it gets back what it did. And notice that we are doing a parallel sequence scan and I'm actually not even using the index. But when I did it on this one, let's see if it tells me it's using my, my index. Here you can see that we're using the index. There you have it team. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave your comments below. I'll see you back in my next video. Until then, take care.